I mean, she has uh, she has watched uh, Dennis Kokko perform many times on stage, and she has always told me that one day she hopes to perform with Dennis on stage, and uh, also because she loves performing in front of a large crowd. Um, I've known Dennis for almost seventeen years, um, and in this. 17 years, I've known him to be very ambitious, very driven, very hardworking. We collaborated a lot. Um, we know each other um, since, you know, the start of our careers. It has been really, really exciting and fun working with Dennis uh, uh, throughout this whole project. One thing about Dennis is he does not go for second best. He wants to go for something unique. And I think that is something admirable about him. He's very passionate. He always come up with a new idea, a new collaboration together with different musicians, singers, even some other uh, elements like drawing, dancing, so which quite inspire a lot of people in this uh, music industry. You know what, the thing about Dennis is as many fans as he, have, as he has and um, there will always be some people who think that he's always making a spectacle of himself which is not a bad thing, people don't realise that um, you need to have the, the drive to go for what you want and block out all the noise that distracts from it and that's something I think he's good at doing. He's actually very, very focused and he's very driven and he knows what he wants and he goes and get, gets it and that's something that I think no matter what field you're in, I think it's something everyone can learn from. He is a person who believes in himself and look where it has taken him. Um, I think this is a great success um, to put up a huge concert. So congratulations, Dennis, um, and I wish you all the best. He's, he's always been a very uh, fun guy, you know, and he's a very driven person. He's a visionary. And uh, this is a great vision, what we have here today. And I think that it's people like him that can really nurture and encourage the youth to, to come up, you know, and to really build themselves as musicians and, and you know, to, to have that confidence and drive. He is a doer. Dennis is a doer. He's not just a talker. A lot of us just talk and don't do, but Dennis, he does. And uh, Malaysia, we need more things like this. So Dennis Lau, thank you for having me on board. All the best in your career and everything you do. And let this phoenix rise up to the sun and stay there and shine upon the whole of Malaysia to know and show that Malaysia, we do have great hidden talents that needs this platform. God bless you. I knew. Well, I know this day will come. I mean, any dream that I've embarked on, uh, I know that in some, at some point it will come true because all dreams are it's not just a dream, it's a goal for me if you want to do it, you are, it's, it's definitely possible I think more importantly, you must ask the question how badly you want it what's the length of your desire to have it in your hands and have it before your eyes I work hard for many many things to chase for many of my goals from as simple as to pass my classical music exams when I was younger finishing my degree to achieve a certain musical standard in my songs that I produce and of course this is the, one of the more large-scale projects that I've ever embarked on to do something like that is I mean, we only have six months to properly create this uh, dream from making the violin, flying over to Ireland, finishing the design, sculpting the violin, working with the whole team, liaisons with the artists. Um, yeah, I think that their talents, more importantly, has been harnessed to make this a success. So I would view it that um, I've already selected and worked with the best, and uh, hence it will be the best. Hey, you are the fucking shit. I'm fucking kill the audience, man. I fucking inspire everyone, man. Fuck. And somehow I feel that this time, at this moment, this year, I need to do something. I need to make a difference in myself and the craft that I'm good at. So I travelled to Ireland for the first time to embody the spirit of my dedication to the craft and also to seek the father of the instrument. And therefore, and that's how the Phoenix was born.
Let me tell you a little bit about why the phoenix because it represents and symbolizes many of the traits that I strive to be. That's why the concert is called the Phoenix Rising Concert. Uh, and I need something that symbolizes that in hardware. So Alistair came into place at the right time. We talked about the concept. He was very intrigued and very interested in working on a design and a sculpture that's of, of, that's of a phoenix. He has never done that before. So many of us got into this project at the first time. Uh, I've been doing music for professionally for 13 years since I was 18. Um, I've gone through quite a fair number, not a lot, to put me down. At the same time, I still cr continue creating, I still continue performing, and I always give my best. And I've always remind or been inspired by different artists that I really like, like John Mayer, Dave Foster, Michael Jackson and so forth. And these artists have did great things. Because of that, I guess that's one of the reasons why I continue to do what I do. Because there's not a lot of opportunities like that that you can work or get everyone together to celebrate something that is, that is your own creation. Um, every time I tell myself, after I finish one project, I say I'm not going to do it again. But yet, I always, I always end up doing something a little bit much bigger. So to see all this whole thing wrapped up in one arena tonight, it's pretty surreal. I mean, if you ask me, the emotions of it is quite mixed. So, but at the end of the day, I think I should be contented. I guess after so long, many people would not know that I've always like to pay tribute to a song that was written by myself, titled Prelude in F Minor. It's a song that I collaborated with Malaysia's top saxophonist Jimmy Sax. And this song was the song that kind of like kickstart my whole collaboration efforts. The song that I see the possibility that the violin can actually work with so many different people. It's a song that I really, really have to pay homage to because of the dedication of Jimmy Sax when we were performing that song earlier in the days. They always say a collaboration is a relationship or a collaboration is, is uh, it takes two hands to clap. Jimmy really put out his soul and heart to this song and every time without fail, he performs this song like it is his song and that touches my heart because I kind of wrote this song, it's my song, you know, but uh, he performed it, like he sometimes has tears also performing it. I thought that it's a very beautiful thing because the most important thing that a musician uh, or an artist should feel is he really treats that art piece or that masterpiece or that composition like he owns it. That's it. Being who I am has, uh, has many, many uh, adversities. I choose that route. And I will continue to uh, follow this route. And embark to many, many possibilities or impossibilities. Every time you create a dream or you want to achieve a dream or goal, your mental strength has to be really, really um, be prepared for. Because along the way, there are many people who will put you down. You will come across many obstacles or challenges, whether personally that will affect you or other things. And all these things will kind of like obstruct you to, uh, to reach what you want to, to get. I myself is no exception as well.
I made many sacrifices to 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 be at my state right now. Um, I want to apologize to to some of you uh, whom I may have said something wrong or do something or did something wrong. And sometimes these actions are because of uh, selfishness. But I do remember my gestures and I do appreciate many people's, each and every one of your patience. I'm still at the root of uh, understanding myself better. I'm still on a journey of learning and I will never stop learning. I'm deeply grat uh, grateful and appreciative uh, for the opportunities that comes my way. I'm very grateful and I thank you all for being a part of this journey of mine, this dream. Um, Thank you.